Mike, you're only Dr. B. Hello, Dr. B. Good day. Hello. Yes, yes. How you doing? I'm doing phenomenally well. Thank you. I just want to let you know, well, I went to jail with Dick Gregory, his wife, and another guy in the early 80s at the South Afri African Embassy with, uh, when they had Steve Biko and stuff, Africa, uh, in the jail. I just want to say, it's not a question, but uh, I flat. <clears throat> When I met Dick Gregory, uh, and I got his books, I had fast. He told me how to fast, uh, and I was with fast. And I had talked one time before. But I'd like to say this, that uh, after I was fast, for about three days, I break my fast, and uh, I would leave my body. I would go places. And uh, this might sound extraordinary, but I stood before God, which was the sun. And I stood there. And when I looked up at it, all my pain, all my worries disappeared. And I said in my mind, I don't want to leave. And as soon as I said in my mind, I don't want to leave, I woke up. And I was on my back porch. That's where I slept at. And a bird was in the tree singing. And a cool breeze was coming through the window. And other things that happened, I left, left and went on the other side of the universe. I went all the way through. It was dark. I seen the stars and everything. When I got on the other side of the universe, I seen light. There's other things that happened, but at the time, I was pretty much a fruit turn, just eating fruit. So I just, just like to just, uh, say that. Thank you very much. All right. Thank you. Story. Thanks, Mike. Dr. B, you want to comment on anything that Mike said? Well, you know, doing a fruit fast is a very good thing. And another thing that's extremely powerful is if you take your shoes and socks off and put them on the earth, either grass, sand, or at least concrete, not asphalt, and be out in the sun, your body would begin to become a superconductor almost instantly and be grounded. So eating fruit, which is giving you the natural sugars, you see, having your shoes off at least three times a week, grounding yourself, and being out in the sun, which is giving you the vitamin D and the vitamin D conversions because your body is photovoltaic, which means we convert light into electricity. You see, when we get more sun, like right now we're going into the equinox or the fall is starting in a couple days. We won't be receiving as much light from the sun. So your digestive tract is not going to work the same. It's not going to be as, you know, as efficient as it was in the summer when the sun was above us, you see. So doing a fast right now, cleansing right now, detoxifying, it is, it, is, it, is, it is supreme. We must do it in order for us to make it through the winter months because this year is going to be very different because we just went through that huge, you know, equinox. Everything is changing. It's not the same world. So there are things, practices, and things that we have to start doing. In fact, on Saturday, you know, I'm going to be doing a workshop online. You know, you can sign up at my website. And we're going to be talking about the things that we should do now to reconnect us to Mother Earth and Father Sky and the cosmos so that we are connected, so we can be the divine superconductors that we came here to be. All right. Uh, give us more information before you leave, of course. 800-450-7876. Christine's up next. And she's uh, on line four calling from the district. Christine, you're on with Dr. B. Hello, Dr. B. Good day. Good day. Um, I have a swollen finger. I went to the beauty shop and I had ended up having an infection in my finger, my whole arm. I cannot make a fist at the moment. What should I do? Which arm is it? My right arm. Which finger is it? When the third finger is swollen, the fourth finger can't move. I can't make a fist period with either one of them in the right hand. Fingers third, the third finger, finger from the thumb? Count yes. from your thumb, which finger? Is that your middle finger? Middle finger, yes. All right. Now, we're dealing with metaphysics at this particular point. That middle finger is the one that is the one that deals with the etheric realm, that connects you to the universe. Obviously, before this event, there was something coming to you, some information from your ancestors, from the angel, from the most high, that you may not have been ready to receive. So to bring your attention to it, 
to being able to listen clearly, not to your friends, not to your family, but to the Most High. That information was attempting to get to you, and you weren't hearing it because you may have had too much distraction. You see? So the first thing you're going to need to do is go get grounded. Put your naked feet on the ground. The second thing you're going to do is ask the Creator for the answer, and you're going to be silent. Do a silent meditation. Go at least 24 hours without speaking. Drink nothing but water and lemon and ginger. Water, lemon, and ginger. Are you following what I'm saying? You say go to get on the grass and put your naked feet on there, and then go you 24 feet on hours the without on the ground and put, go 24 hours without speaking. Without speaking. After you ask your question, asking for the answer, go 24 hours without speaking, a silent meditation for 24 hours, and you'll know exactly what to do. Another thing that you can do is get those raw, those coconuts, the white coconut, not the ones in the can or the box. Get those and drink one every hour for 12 hours. You'll get the answer. You have the medicine in you. Say again. Regular coconut. Right, so hang on a second, Christine. We've got to take a, a quick break here. We've got to check the traffic and weather in the DMV. I'll let you pose your, your follow-up question to Dr. B on the other side. Folks, you too can join the discussion. Phones are, lines are wide open at 800 456 You were saying, drink coconut. I was cutting me off. Coconut. Get a coconut, drink it, and drink it. How, how long? Yeah, fresh white coconut. Drink one every hour for 12 hours. It's going to help clean your blood. Another every thing hour. you can do, every hour. Okay, 12 hours. Okay. Every okay. hour, 12 hours. Let's get 12 of those. Don't buy the one in the can or the box. You got to get the fresh coconut, not the brown one, the white one. Another thing you can do is take your hand and put it in salt. Just put your whole hand in salt. Even put it in salt water, a lot of salt. doesn't matter if you use sea salt, table salt. It's going to help pull some of the inflammation out. And there's an oil. Just regular salt, Epsom salt is good too because it pulls. One other thing you can do is you put bergamot oil, bergamot oil on that finger and rub it in and your whole arm. Just don't go out in the sun with bergamot. It's bergamot essential oil. Very good for, for balancing your blood, cleaning your system, and helping with that inflammation. <laughs> But that, that issue. Say again. What were you saying? I missed it. Bergamot oil. Bergamot oil. Bergamot essential oil. This issue that you have, most of the issues that we have, have a metaphysical and a physical reason. They're usually things happening to give us a message. They're teachers. Okay. And if you need more help, just give me a call. Three two three nine three one one two one two. Three two three. Three two three nine one three one one two one two. Three two three nine one. Thanks, Christina. And we'll, we'll give that number out again before Dr. B leaves. But I thank you for your call. Got a bunch of other folks who want to speak to Dr. B at 800-450-7876. Let's go to California. Uh, line three. Tanzania is calling us. Uh, Tanzania, oh, yeah. I'm with Dr. B. Hi, I am Tanzania. Um, first, I would like to say thank you, Dr. B, for your um, advice on my migraines. Um, I want to um, touch on a couple of things that I hadn't heard before, superconductor human, and I do believe I am one, um, but I never heard that phrase before. Uh, I was diagnosed with systemic lupus at 16, and that was 30 years ago. And since then, I've had um, a lot of other labels. And I've had a migraine for about 14 months now. And um, no one has been able to um, get rid of it. But um, I was specifically listening to it today because the only thing that I've gotten relief from was uh, mushroom and can you explain to me what 
the connection is and how does it work? Which mushroom did you take? I took psychedelic mushrooms. Ah, you took the psilocybin mushroom. Now, I'm going to be very careful here because, uh, you know, we have listeners on the line who uh, um, are connected to agencies who would not like us to discuss this. Okay. There are plants well, that are Maybe we can talk later. <laughs> I'm just going to say this. I'm just going to say this much. There are plants that are plant teachers. The mushroom family itself is called the mycelium. They are your closest relatives. They okay, can recognize I'll say I was in DNA. New Mexico, and where it's legal, and I was given psychedelic mushroom. Okay, that's okay. I'm just going to okay. say this much. The mycelium, the mushroom family, are your closest yes. relatives in the animal kingdom, and they can recognize what's your DNA and what's not. Yes. The ones they call psychedelic delic can can recognize what are your true issues and what are issues you just picked up. Okay. But you can give me a call. We can talk deeper on this, and you you know I'll give my number again later on. But okay. for the migraines, the high dose vitamin C and magnesium, yes. that's the deficiency of those two. But remember, migraines are you receiving high amounts of superconductive information from the galaxy. Everybody with migraines sees sacred, uh, uh, what they call sacred geometry. Those are messages. We can talk more later. Thank you. All right. Thank, thank you, Tanzania. 800-450-7876. Marianne is uh, calling us now from the district. She's on line one. Marianne, you're on with Dr. B. Hey, thank you, Carl. I appreciate you taking my call. And hello to you, Dr. B. Good day. Um, good day. I wanted to just ask if you could speak on um, the, use, uh, the uses or the benefits of oregano oil. Um, I've been taking a couple of drops of oregano oil in either water or aloe vera juice. And so I wanted to just make sure I'm not doing anything detrimental by taking the, the oregano oil. I did read you know, a lot of the benefits, but, you know, I read that online. Sometimes you don't get everything. But I just wanted to see if you would um, talk about that for us. Thank you, and I'll hang up and listen. Uh, I would not put the oregano oil with orange juice. First, orange juice is not a natural substance, which is why every time you buy it, it tastes the same. But every orange, is actually taste, it actually tastes different, and every season they taste different. So what process do they do to get orange juice to be stabilized? is very questionable. I'd look that up. Two, I would not put this oregano oil with uh, uh, orange juice because it is acidic, you see. And now your body shuts down the, uh, the gateways that would take in the oregano oil. Now, what would be better is it, because it has to be, if it's oregano oil, it must be oregano, oregano vulgar. It must be oregano vulgar. That's the only one that actually was, you know, used in these, uh, you know, these, uh, you know, reports and in the medical experience, experiments. But actually, if you could get the actual oregano, that would be even better. Your body knows what to do with it. So I'm not sure what you're using it for. And if you take it every day, that may not be good either. This is something that you may use in emergency or when you're cleansing and detoxifying. So I do use that in, like, my, my total body program. I use it, but there's a specific type that I use because most of them are a little too abrasive to the system. So be careful. All right. 800-450-7876. Uh, go out west to Portland. Uh, Marcelite is on line five. Marcelite, you're on with doc, Dr. B. Yes. Hi. Thank you. Thank you for taking my call. And thank you for a wonderful show, always. Um, I just wanted to ask a question uh, about um, what do you think, Dr. B, about the African red palm oil, and the studies they recently found that it can actually uh, break down plaque in the vessels, in the arteries, and so on. Um, and then the other one was that I just wanted to to let you know that um, people should be careful about bitter melon because it really lowers the blood sugar. So if they're on you know, insulin or anything that, uh, if they have low blood sugar or insulin is on, Bitter melon might make them feel pretty dizzy, so I just want to um, throw that out. 
Uh, but definitely, um, I want to ask you about the red palm oil and then um, um, the, the live versus the, the um, it's called shalajit, the mineral pitch you were talking about. It's so wonderful. Um, and I just want to know the difference between the live mineral pitch and regular fulvic acid. And stuff. That's all. <laughs> okay, let's go back right. to the red palm oil. Yes, sir. The red palm oil is very good if you're getting it organic and raw. If you don't get it that way, it is not good. It's been broken down. It's rancid. The red palm oil has far infrared light. Things that have far infrared light, like blueberries, bilberries, uh, blackberries, things that have a very dark color, they are able to break down not only plaque, but hardened materials in the body, and they supercharge the immune system. So, yes, that red palm oil, if you're getting the proper one, it is very good. Back to the bitter melon. I'm glad you brought up this point. Most of the bitter melon you buy in the store is not organic, and it will not become an adaptogen because it, an adaptogen is a substance that adapts to your body, so it won't make your blood sugar too low. It will actually begin to balance it, but if most people are buying it, it is not organic. So we must get it organic or grow it ourselves and we won't have that particular issue, at least in my research. And the last question was silagit versus fulvic acid. Fulvic acid is a, is a diluted version of humic, which has been broken down into a, what we call an acquiescent formula, a liquid formulation. It doesn't have the minerals that fulvic has, I mean that humic has, but fulvic supercharges everything you're taking. So like all of my formulations, you'll see it says fulvic acid. So it takes a product that might have an energy level of 50 and takes it to 500 really quickly. So we use that to supercharge those elements. But we can't compare the two. They're different, and they're used for different reasons. You see, okay. but they're the both last very good products. The live, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. The live mineral pitch, is there, is there a difference? I know there's a company selling a, a something called Pure Black. Um, and it's, they, say, they say that it's a live mineral pitch. Is there, is that, does that make a difference at all or no? There's two types of mineral pitch. One of them was mineral pitch they used to detoxify soil. So if the soil is toxic, they'll put mineral pitch or fulvic or hum, uh, excuse, excuse me, humic acid in it because it absorbs all the toxicity in soil. That's dead. Live just means that it's natural and untouched. They haven't played with it. In fact, we have to be careful from, you know, some of these products that are coming from India and China now because it's folks that are, you know, they're, they're buying the one that was used already to detoxify chemicals in the soil. Oh, so it's horrible. It, it, it's all live naturally. It's living. It's mm -hmm. a living crystal. It's, it's actually alive and very intelligent. So what they're saying probably is that this one is not has not been used as a detoxificant for soil. Okay, that's great. All right, well, thank you. Thanks for the answer. Thank you very much. Bye-bye. All righty. 800-450-7876. Speak to Dr. B. And Marilyn's up next. And Marilyn is in the district on line six. Marilyn, you're on with Dr. B. Yes, Dr. B. I have a daughter that was diagnosed with pseudo tumor cerebri. I think it was drug-induced from all, a lot of medications that was imposed on her while in the hospital. Is there something that can heal her brain also? She has demyelination of, uh, of her brain disease. Well, first of all, I'd like to make my disclaimer now. I'm not a medical doctor. I'm not a nurse. I haven't studied that system. Some of those words are huge. I have no idea what they mean, and uh, I don't diagnose, you know, I'm not part of the AMA, the, 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 the FDA, and any of those letters. What you would have to do with this situation is call me and let's read the energy of your daughter and see what possibly we could do to assist her. But I would give me a call on that one because that sounds huge. Just the All way. Right, hold that thought right there, hey, Dr. B. We've got to take a quick quick break. Stay with us, Marilyn. Stay with us. We've got to take a quick break. We're running late here at, at the top of the hour right here on FM 95.9 and AM 1450. WOL, where information 
is power. Thank you, Mr. Ellis, folks. Our guest is a, a metaphysician. He's also a master herbalist. He's Dr. B. He's also uh, a, a, a spiritual man as well. Before we left uh, for the break of the Tom B, I was speaking with Marilyn in, in the district. So, Marilyn, your, your, your follow up question for Dr. B? Yes. Once, my friend's also in Dallas is that uh, was, I think, the kidney failure drug induced once again. Um, is there anything to the antidote? when he comes from dialysis, to give him that could um, neutralize the poisons they're putting in him? Yeah, we're, you're going to need to give me a call on this. <laughs> okay. Thank you very much. Will do. All right. Thank Thanks, Marilyn. 800-450-7876. Go to San Diego on line four. Casey's waiting for us. Casey, you're on with uh, Dr. B. Hi. Thank you for taking my call. Hope all you guys are well. Um, I wanted to ask a couple of questions. Um, the first one, Dr. B, what part of the ground, because you talk about the ground, and I, the caller uh, um, earlier said, oh, the grass, and then you said the ground again. So when you say being connected and, you know, walking out in the universe, what specifically should you connect with? Is it the grass? Is it the dirt? You know. Grass, dirt, sand, any of the soil. Or let's say it's cold outside, grab a tree. The tree does the same thing. It grounds you. Yes. Oh, okay. Now, Thanks. Be listening because later on we're going to have products that we're creating now where you can be grounded in your home and in your bed. We're actually working on a very special project. So be listening for that and stay on my email list. Okay. Um, two more questions. Um, this one, basically, you know, if you do smoothies and you're trying to do the juicing and you do, like, turmeric root, taro, ginger, beets, eggplant, moringa powder, those different things, should you be using them, like, just in variation or, you know, in moderation, not using them every day? Or are there certain ones of those listings or specifics that you take and you combine with, you know, maybe spinach or kale or collars or mustards, whatever kind of greens you're mixing in with that, along with maybe blueberries, because we do a lot of juicing and we do use that kind of stuff. Everything you mentioned was okay, but that eggplant we've got to be careful with. You know, that create, okay. that can create, those one of the nightshades, and they can sometimes create what we call oxalic acid, which would cause the calcium in your body not to be in alignment. It can erode the okay. calcium in your body. So be careful with okay. that one, unless you can get one of the original eggplants, which are a little tiny and they're long. But the, everything else sounds pretty pretty good. Okay. Um, and then you just triggered another question now I'm going to throw in. Water. Okay. We talk about alkaline water. You know, pretty much everywhere you go, you're either buying water or you're trying to figure out which is the best water to drink. You can take water from the faucet, put it maybe in a Brita pitcher or something like that, and then squeeze lemon in it or, you know, um, maybe water from, for instance, out here in San Diego, it's Costco, um, then you buy their water or you buy Arrowhead Spring water. What kind of water could cause, like, the calcification or something like that? Uh, we've given a touchy area here. This alkaline water thing, I think, is almost out of control. It is. Almost all water is about at 7 pH. pH is potential hydrogen. This is even tap water is about at okay. 7. When you go down to 6, it becomes acid. You start going up to 8, it becomes alkaline. If okay. you're using alkaline water in the morning before you've eaten or the night before you go to bed with nothing in your stomach, you may be okay. Because if you're using that alkaline water while you're eating food, you're, it shuts off the acid production because you're alkalizing a stomach that should be acidic to break down food, you see. So you got to be very careful with this whole alkaline water cures everything. You know, water, right. we need water. Because some folks, I was talking to a lady one day, she don't drink water because she's too far from getting alkaline water, so she don't drink any. So she's drinking wow. coffee and Pepsis and colas. I mean, people, we have oh, to be no. very careful here. Put some lemon in it. If you've got one of those machines, okay, put it in glass. Because when the minute it's in plastic, it changes it because the, because the, the chemicals, the, the plastic outgasses and creates what we call xenon estrogen or estrogen mimicking chemicals. That is the problem. Okay. That's the worst okay. problem than the water. 
Wow. I wouldn't drink tap water. I'm not saying to drink tap water now. I'm not saying to drink that. Don't get me wrong now. I'm saying that right. it's just that this alkaline thing. We, we to need to do a little tap, more. tap water. So you should filter yeah, tap if, water if, you, if you're using it. Or get, you know, get one of those, you know, reverse osmosis filters for your water. If you're going to use tap water, that's a very good way to filter water. I haven't, there's only a couple of those machines that have a big enough actual filter to pull all the toxins out. They're making the water alkaline, but there are microtoxins still in water. So Got that's it. a whole other question. Okay, and um, final question, and I'll take it off the air. Thank you so much. Thank you again, Brother Carl, for all of your work and labor. Um, can you describe, like, what takes place when there's a so-called liver dump, you know, that happens maybe when someone is diabetic and their blood sugar seems to be okay during certain parts of the day, most parts of the day, and then it goes high for a minute, but maybe they haven't eaten or anything and they're pretty much doing the regular thing, but it shoots up for a minute. Thank you. Now, technically, our blood sugar is changing throughout the day. Our body is shifting and changing. The thing is, is when our body is not toxic, when we don't have things like parasites, you know, with these all these different, you know, chemicals, uh, uh, what, the, what we also call excitotoxins. If you have a lot of that in your system, your body is constantly attempting to adjust to keep you alive. Parasites themselves can cause that. This is the one of the biggest issues we have is parasites. So we find that when people do anywhere from a 28-day to three-month you know, total body parasite cleanse, their body begins to regulate itself. And you're going to remove all those artificial sugars and all of those animal products because the animal products are really causing a lot of the diabetic, you know, action. You know, it's the animal, it's the grease. You know, grease, let's just call it grease. <laughs> you got grease in your blood vessels and it turns into wax and shuts down the pancreas. So this is why this is fall. We're going into fall on, you know, in a couple days. This is the time that we cleanse and detoxify systemically throughout the system because a lot of the parasite cleansers out there are dealing only with the colon and the, the digestive tract. Those parasites are not that serious unless you've got a serious infestation, but it's the systemic parasites, the ones that live in the liver, the kidneys, the spleen, and the brain, and the eyes. If you see floaters, you know, you're looking around and you can see those little things, those little lines in it wiggling. And some of them will even wave at you sometime, you know. These are, these are parasites, systemic parasites. So this is why we have the total body program. And for folks who are dealing with serious illness, they should look at doing a cleanse like this, you know, for three months, which is three moon cycles, also known as circadian rhythms, because these parasites live and mate in these in these times, in these seasons, in certain times of the month. So sometimes your blood sugar is changing at a time of the month when these parasites are eating or they're mating or they're partying or they're at the parasite church. <laughs> I, you know, I did, Carl, I did a lecture and I talked about the parasite church and I said, these parasite churches, these people who, the parasites that go to the parasite church, they're serious. They read their Bible. They don't break any laws. <laughs> they live within the confines of their belief system, and their belief system is to eat, to live, to, to, to do, duplicate themselves, to procreate, and use all of your energy. They don't break the law. We do. You see, so this is why seasonally we should be cleansing and detoxifying our entire body from parasites, and we see almost 50% of the major illnesses either disappear or they become, you know, the symptoms just go away because the body becomes a self-regulating entity because you don't have the parasites. This is the time. This now, is Dr. The B, right, Dr. B, is it, I'm sorry to interrupt you. Is it the spiritual parasites that you're referring to now? Because you mentioned mental and physical. And we know about the physical parasites, but, but so far you haven't told us about the spiritual parasites or the mental parasites. Well, in the church, they used to call these spiritual parasites generational curses. This thing that's riding with the family, things that somebody may have done or there is some sort of, uh, 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 of, of issue that was unresolved with the family that, you know, is passing from mother and father to child. So a lot of our issues are not even ours. We're carrying luggage and cargo energetically that comes from our parents. And it's not saying that our parents were bad or good. They may be picking up energy from the people that came before them. 
So those spiritual energetic parasites have to be resolved too. Now, some people say, well, prayer does it. Some people say, well, you know, my mantras do it. You know, well, we can test to see if that's really effective because those spiritual parasites are what we also call uh, interdimensional parasites. They travel through space and they gravitate to certain people who are not standing in the space they should be in. They may not be living the life purpose they came to live. They may have a job they hate. They may be angry all the time. They watch the news and they're worried about everything and they live in fear. If you're living in those things, then you make it easier for these spiritual parasites, these generational curses, or this caught energy, you know, to, to, to manifest. You know, Buddha said it very well. He said, the average person lives in the realm of hungry ghosts. What does that mean? That means the average person has some ideas, feelings, and emotions that should be dead, but they're alive. We're bringing them alive every day, and they're haunting us. They're like ghosts. These are the ghosts that they're talking about, you see? So once we are able to do this, and we do this through the subconscious alignment work, you know, the energy, vibrational healing that we do, this is what begins right. to eradicate. Hold that thought right there, Dr. Body. B. We got to take our uh, final look at the traffic and weather for this evening. Uh, WOL, I'll let you finish your thought on the other side. We got a bunch of folks who want to speak to you as well. You two can join the discussion at 800 450 7876 to speak to Dr. B. 7876. And, and Dr. B, I'm going to let you finish up your thought, and we'll take some more calls for you. So, you know, a lot of folks have what they're calling, some people call these generational curses. And you can break this by, first of all, detoxifying and cleansing your body every season, checking the friends, who you're hanging out with, what conversations are you having, you know, what activities are you involved with. You know, a lot of folks are involved with activities they truly don't want to be involved with. They're doing it because the family said so. They're doing it because their friends said to do it. You know, you have to become, you know, you have to become the person you came to be. You have to be an indivisible individual. That means I cannot be divided from my purpose, my goal that I'm here for. Even though friends, and you know, they may get upset, it doesn't make any difference. This is what I'm here to do. Now you begin to change your actual physical environment, your mental environment, your spiritual environment. So now you are not able to be reached by these entities. And also, this is why a lot of folks come to me to, do, to get these, you know, the subconscious alignment work that I do is to get rid of that kind of stuff, that, that spiritual parasites. And then there's also mental parasites. The mental parasites are ideas, feelings, and experiences that happened in the past that are in your subconscious being played back daily as if they're now. This is in your subconscious. And the conscious mind is not even aware of them. So by doing the subconscious alignment work, we're able to change the filing system we're able to eradicate and wipe those files clean of those things from the past. Now, interesting thing, Carl, you notice most, most of the time people talk about themselves in the past. They say, I, you know, I used to always and I used to always. That right there tells the subconscious computer to bring every past event into the now. And the body begins to act and respond as if those things are happening now. But if we would simply say when we're talking about the past, say in the past or say she or he, talk of yourself in third person, and you take that energy off yourself. The more you do that, the stronger your cellular material becomes, the stronger your person becomes. And now you can begin to do the work to shield yourself from the mental, from the spiritual parasite. You see, and then make sure that you're doing the physical detoxification because if you've got the toxoplasma parasite, which 70% of the people do, then that is going to interrupt the proper functioning of your amygdala. The amygdala is what processes your perception of the world. It processes the fear and the anger and things like that. So if we are always afraid, we're always fearful of everything. The event hasn't even happened yet, and you're upset and you're fearful that it's going to happen, you become a self-fulfilling prophecy, you see? Instead of living in the moment, being the true gift, you know, of right now, living in this moment and letting the past go and not trying to create a future, which is a, you know, it, it's, it doesn't even make any sense half the things that we're afraid of. We think it's going to happen again, so we make it happen. 
So, you know, I'm going to be talking about this tomorrow night. I'm doing a, a webinar, a free webinar. So for folks that go to my website, you know, you see events, you'll see a free webinar. I'm going to be getting into this. And then on Saturday, I'm going to give a workshop on how to tune up your entire life so that it's yours again. And we're going to do a series of these because there are, you know, mathematical processes, things that you could do every day to break these habits, what they call pattern interrupts. Certain thoughts pop up, you're able to eradicate and stop this thought. So physical parasites, mental parasites, spiritual parasites, they're all connected, and they're what has invaded most of the people, and it keeps us in war. We're in war mode with ourselves and with the rest of the people on the planet and the planet itself. All right. I've got a bunch of folks who want to talk to you. Before we go back to the phone bank, though, i uh, got a tweet question. I want to know about floaters. Yeah. What, what can you, what, do you have anything to take care of floaters? When folks do the total body parasite cleanse, or what we call the elevated, actually the elevated seems to be working better for that, it begins to clear parasites everywhere. Because those parasites, the eye, it takes a lot to get to that, to the eye. You know, that's the, the eye receives, you know, it has the smallest blood vessels in the body, you see. And to, to get that energy in there, you need particles, very small ionic particles that can get in the eye and help to eradicate the energy and choke out the life force of those floaters. It takes time. If you've got floaters, you've got serious parasites throughout your body. In fact, they say, you know, 85% of the people have parasites, and parasites cause almost every disease. Now, if you're seeing the symptoms of parasites, which is almost every illness you can think of, then we've got a lot of work to do. Floaters say that you've got the little tiny one. It takes more time. We have to be patient. There's certain foods that you're eating that we have to, you know, let go of, and we have to cleanse at a deeper, what we call intracellular level. That takes time. So, you know, we use the Total Body Program, which is on my website, and even better would be the Elevated Total Body Program right now. And I'm going to say one other thing, Carl. All these tornadoes and earthquakes and these floods and these hurricanes, they have stirred up toxins, and they're in the environment everywhere, not just in a place where the problem is. The Earth's energy, the, 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 the ionosphere, you see, the atmosphere is full of toxic material from these events. So let's say you're in Texas, you know, they've got a lot of, you know, benzene type things that come from oil, from the oil refinery. So that vapor is in the air. Benzene gets in the thymus and it shuts down T-cell production. If you don't have enough T cells, then you can't fight major illnesses very well because those T cells are your master immune system commanders. They tell the rest of the body what to respond to. So there's asbestos, you know, there's, I mean, the, the amount of chemicals and toxins in the air right now because of these storms and these, these events is enormous. So we're going to see a lot of people for the next six months that are going to, going to be coming up with all kinds of illnesses. So the best thing to do is as our ancients did, we know what is in the air. We have to cleanse and detoxify all the way to the root. You see, systemic detoxification is very important right now. And also being able to repair those telomeres because those telomeres, they have the ability to supercharge your system too so that you can protect yourself from environmental toxins, which is stronger than it's been in, in their, they're saying now in 50 years the environmental toxins, and everybody's breathing this air. I don't care how organic you eat and vegan, you know, you could be a waterarian. You're breathing this air, you're receiving these toxins. So this is the time you should do the best type of cleansing you can do so that we don't find ourselves, you know, after Thanksgiving and Christmas and the New Year's, all of a sudden we have some major illness that popped up. It's in the air. Be proactive. All right. 800-450-7876. I mentioned a lot of folks want to speak to you. Let's go to line one. Larry's calling from the district. Larry, you're on with Dr. B. Uh, yes, good evening, gentlemen. Um, I came in kind of late on the migraine. I wanted to um, ask a, 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 kind of like a double-sided question. Uh, the, the missus, she has uh, migraines uh, all the time. And I actually do not experience any headaches. I've never had a brain freeze or anything like that. Uh, she says it's because I'm crazy. Uh, um, 
I wondered, uh, it, it always intrigued me. What, what, why do you think I do not have any headaches or brain freezes or anything like that? Would you like to have some? I, I, I don't, but I, I, I'm, I'm glad I've never experienced it. Hold on, let me, can I, let me just say this. If you do not desire them, don't even mention them. Ah, okay. You don't mention the that. problem. When you want a solution, don't mention the problem. Focus on what you have. Be thankful for that. Now, for her, we're going to talk about vitamin C, magnesium, and remember, migraines, that MI has to do with miracle. The word miracle. People who have migraines are miracle. They're very special people. You see, they're tuned into a whole nother frequency. For more information than that, you're going to need to call me because everybody that has migraines is a very special person. You see, it's um, not just a physical thing. So since I don't get them, I'm not special. <laughs> well, you might be special. You have to ask her. See, I don't, you're married, so I guess you got to be special. But don't yeah. don't expect to have something. You you sound like you want you'd like to have them. No. Nah. You know what I'm saying? No, I don't. No, I don't. I got one one last question for you. Uh, I have Hep C, and I've had it for a while, and I'm, I, I know it's done something to my liver. Um, it was undiagnosed. I, I believe the doctor said it was like dormant inside of me for a while. Um, what can I do to be proactive to uh, some type of natural, uh, um, something I can do to just alleviate with the damage that's done? One thing you could do is start eating grapefruits. There's an enzyme and a mineral that's in grapefruits that helps to clear up what causes the hep C to actually cause the symptoms, okay? So grapefruits is one thing you can do. Now, what we have to do for this particular situation is put together what we call a hepatitis protocol, and I'd have to custom make that for you. For most illnesses, when a person has an illness, they tell me what it is, I will put together a program or a protocol for that issue that helps your body build the resistance and heal from that. That's a very special situation. All you got to do is give me a call. You know, it's not going to be on my website. We don't mention illnesses on the website, you know. But give me a call, and I'll put something together for you. Okay, Carl, you're going to get that number out, or can I get it now? All right, let, let's do it now. Thanks, Larry. Uh, go, go ahead, Dr. B. Give out, give out that number now. My number is 323-931-1212. That's 323-931-1212. And my website is elevationtime.com. Elevation.